What's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new series called Grunenberg. As you can tell by this here right here, uh, I have no idea really what this game's about. I think it's a sort of VHS kind of horror game, I think, from what I looked at the pictures and stuff. Um, if you guys want to check the game out, I'll leave a link to the Steam page down below so you guys can check it out and buy it if you want to and if it interests you. Or you can just watch me play it. Uh, it's probably going to be a short series, maybe even just simply one video, depending on how things go. Um, but yeah, we'll try we'll get, uh, try and get right into this. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, want to see more videos like this one. And be sure to also click the bell notification icon next time you... Bitch, boo. Next time... You know what? Never mind. Point, point is, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. Let's just get started. Where I embarrass myself even more. So, Mrs. Solomon, could you please recount what happened to you once more? Of course. As I mentioned before, I'm someone who has severed ties with my family. And among the people I've cut ties with is my grandfather, Michael Solomon. Ah, oh, the uh, famous myth answer Michael Solomon, right? Yes, yes, he's the one with such a job. Moreover, he really enjoys disappearing. What do you mean by he enjoys disappearing? I mean, he chose to leave us for the sake of meat hunting, and we hadn't heard from him for almost ten years. Until two days ago. Wow. I understand. However, this situation changed two days ago, right? Yes, it changed with the letter my grandfather sent to my house. I see. Uh -huh. So, Interesting. Um, what did your grandfather write in the letter? He asked me to come to the abandoned area named Grunenberg and capture everything Grunenberg. I could. And did you do that? Damn right I did. Damn right I wanted that cursed area to find him. Yeah, I well, I understand. So, uh, what happened to you out there? A lot of things happened, sir. But first and foremost, my car suddenly broke down. That's the start of the game, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Nothing's totally gonna go wrong, right? Totally not. Oh, something's definitely gonna go wrong, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, WSD to walk. Okay. Let's to zoom in. Need flashlight. Okay, shift, sprint, all the crouch. Oh, then the flashlight is E. I thought it'd be F. Plus left click is interact, I suppose. I'm not sure if I might have to brighten it for you guys a tiny bit during the editing process, but. It is majorly dark. Alright. And zoom in at least. Zoom in on them peepers. Keep those peepers peopled. I guess. F key. Oh, so it's more life triggers. The F Grunenberg. Yeah. Let's crouch and sprint at the same time. That's a bit of a shame. Don't go into the light. But I will instead. You have to go this way. I'm hoping I'll probably finish this in one episode because I do have a couple other games I do want to play. One of the, of course, two of them being 
Ford, not Ford lands. Um, Bioshock 1 and 2. We have a graveyard. Let's go to the church. There's totally, nothing's totally not gonna happen there. Um. Yeah, there's Bioshock 1 and 2. up in here. Well, there's Battleshock 1 and 2 and I did also see a another game called The Silent Swan. What I seen it seemed to be a bit more of the Simply walking around kind of thing doesn't have any. Even did not have real action, real, real action or scares. But I didn't really see the trailer. We kind of just see the other. I just seen the images of it. So you're saying that something was wrong there? I knew that something was wrong. I knew that something was wrong there, sir. Oh, mess up there. I have to find my grandfather. That's why I kept moving forward. What caused you to feel this way? The wind, the structures, my heart, even the sound of my own foot, all screaming it, sir. All right. Uh, we live in and after voice the church, to what they're actually saying, you? but I'm not going to judge. I answered the real part okay, of the I probably area. wouldn't be able to do it for it a little bit. It in this drill zone. To be Just honest. Just as it had been described. That's a pretty cool game, and I have many like ooh jump scare in your face but it's definitely got that creepy atmosphere you can't go that way let's run on over here nothing really nearby I suppose you're blocked up, can't be inside. It's not to the front entrance. I'm gonna get in through here though. Can you stop kicking barrels? I mean, you only did it once, but still. You shouldn't be kicking random barrels. Gas is must first put on a gas mask. That I did. Luckily. Take longer than I thought. Okay, so I'm finally look around a small bit. Oh, hi, and I'll be sit back see if I can find anything. 
probably should focus this on the game. As in my battery, I did end up dying a tiny bit. I'm sure if I said that before or not. But I did die and get my battery back. So you uh, entered the hospital and moved on? Yes. After that thing behind me, I was thought about turning back. However... However... I needed to find my grandfather, sir. I couldn't leave him in such a cursed place. Yes, I can understand your thoughts, Mr. Solomon. And, uh... Could you tell me a bit more about the thing that was following you? Yes, please do. Um, I am absolutely sure it wasn't human. Or any trace of humanity was left in it. Did it want to harm you? Yes, it did. I could feel the hatred in it. Deep in my soul. It wanted to tear me apart. To take the revenge on me. I understand, Mr. Solomon. So, uh, what happened in the hospital? Let's find out what happened in the hospital, shall we? Yeah, I ended up finding three of the numbers that kind of guess at the last one. And I'm probably going to brighten up the screen for you guys. Even though it's... Oh, hi. Even though it's bright, not very bright for me either. I don't really want to waste the battery too much. Zero seven seven zero zero one one zero on interesting. One zero zero one. I'm gonna go zero 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 one one zero. The other one is one zero zero one. So which one is it? Ooh, spoopy. Let's follow the ghost, shall we? The other one, I think. We just take that one. And let's go. Ah. That one first. Come on. Look at this. Oh, it crashed. Oopsie. Okay, well, I'm back. Oh, I think I understand. I was about to say, but what the heck is going on? I have to go over here and turn the thing off. That's what I have to do. Okay, so we're back where we originally were. It was on. Zero. One, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Hey, let's go, bitches! Hey, don't move away from me. Back here. Let's keep running after it. We'll catch up eventually. Surely we'll catch up eventually. Hey. I not mean to go forward. There, I should have never gone there. Mr. Solomon, please calm down. You're not in Grudenberg anymore. Please. This place is completely safe. I know, sir. But fear has completely consumed me. And of course, sadness too. Well, I understand. But don't worry. You're safe now. 
and the when you mention sadness what do you mean by that I can't exactly pinpoint it sir but I felt like the foundation of the fear there was sadness as if the whole area had been soaked with someone's tears here's a fear perhaps hmm. the scares interesting perspective probably not you mentioned seeing corpses there would you talk about them again yes I saw human corpses that seem to have died recently in Rundenberg so uh you knew those bodies who they were not specifically but I believe they were unfortunate individuals who had ended up in that area. If then. what you're saying is true, then the case we have on our hands is quite serious. Of course it's serious. The things happening there are beyond what regular people can handle, sir. Please calm down, Mr. Solomon. Our teams have already headed to the area. Everything will be under control. I hope so, sir. All right. After the hospital, where did you go next? Of course, I went to Grunenberg Castle. Better explore the other place first. That I died in. So I can't go there. Let's see what we can find. We can say, let's see what we can find, but clearly we already found something. Okay. okay so there's a battery there. Doesn't look like anything else. I do want to keep that battery there just in case we need it. Oh, hi. You again. We're bumping into each other a lot recently, aren't we? Yes, hi. See the motor above the water. No, more of a nuisance than anything, aren't you? Okay, I think I got four of those. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So I got all four. Now what? By over this, and burn something. Do I go back, maybe. Do I go back. What if I go back, what happens? Is this open? No. I think I'm going to go back there either.
Go this way, maybe? Did I go this way before? I don't remember. Okay. Go over here. Oh! Next area! It's a little girl. Who, Mr. Solomon? The culprit of everything there, sir. The culprit of everything happened there is a little girl. A little girl? What do you mean? An upper. I don't exactly know, but the sadness and fear I felt during my time there, combined with the childish absurdity of the events, led me to think this, sir. She wanted to harm me and cause pain. I'm sorry of that. But at the same time, she wants to play games. She wants to involve me in her sorrow. Perhaps even wanted me to understand her. That's an interesting observation, Mr. Solomon. Nothing there is normal, sir. What do you well, know, does her it? making you burn toys might have contributed to you thinking this way. She didn't just make me burn toys there. She destroyed my childhood. The remnants of something that could never be again. Ooh. I understand, Mr. Solomon. So, did you manage to find your grandfather in the castle? I didn't find my grandfather in the castle. But I was getting quite close to finding him. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, as far as this is, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm assuming this might be a two-part series. At least based on what I'm hearing, I assume I'm probably nearing somewhere along the end. So yeah, I'll leave this episode here. Uh, I'll probably do a part two sometime. Um, quick announcement as it is coming up on the time that something important is happening. Uh, I will be going to college on the 2nd of January of 2024. So, starting from that point forward, schedule, starting from January 2nd on that point forward, um, at least until I get out of college, uh, the videos might, I suppose as usual, might be a bit messed up, I don't know, depending on how things go. Um, so yeah, the schedule might have been a bit messed up or I might not upload very much, though does that kind of par for the course from what you guys have seen on the channel so far, I don't exactly keep a good schedule going. But yeah, just thought I'd announce that, that I'll be doing college soon. Um, may, uh, maybe I'll talk about it some other time, I'll probably also leave it in a short as well, possibly, um, when I upload this video. Uh, so yeah, uh, just a quick announcement there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below, it would be greatly appreciated, as well as to also comment any games, as always, that you want me to play, or if you just want to comment something in general, I will be sure to reply it to the best of my ability down below, and it would also be, also be greatly appreciated. Uh, be sure to also subscribe and click the bell notification icon so next time you upload video, I upload video, you'll be notified that you upload video. But, depending on who you are, maybe you do upload videos. I'm not one to say anything about that. But yeah, uh, I think I, pretty much that's all I kind of have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.